Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this quick tutorial today, I will show you how to take a full screenshot as well as a partial screenshot in Windows 10. I'll also show you how to access those screenshots or where to find them after you take them. Okay, so let's say you're uh, playing a video or you're doing some research online and you want to take a screenshot. For most computers and keyboards, what you would do here is hit your function and windows key at the same time, and then press your print screen button. As you can see, the screen flashed, indicating the screenshot has been taken. And to show you where to find that, let's minimize this window. We'll go over here to your file explorer on the bottom. We'll go over here to the left where it says pictures and click on that. And here's your screenshot folder. It's a system generated folder. You don't have to create this, it's already there. We'll double click on screenshots. And there's my screenshot. As you can see, it's the entire screen, your bottom bar, your upper bar, it's the entire screen, a full screenshot. You can edit this in various programs. As you can see by going to properties, this is saved in a JPEG format. And then you can click and drag it obviously and bring it wherever you like. So that's how you would do a full screenshot. If you want to do a partial screenshot, let's say I only want this information here. What you would do is you would hit on the windows key and your shift key and then S. As you can see up here, it defaults to the rectangular shape. You can also do freeform, you can do window snip, or you can do full screen snip. So defaulting to rectangular, I'll come down here, I'll highlight this, and I'll let go. After letting go, that partial screenshot or that snip has been saved, but it's not saved to the folder we just looked at, it's saved to your clipboard. So in order to use this, for example, we'll come down here, We'll put in the Paint app, we'll open that up. And then to place it in here, we'll do Control V for paste. So you see it's not saved in your screenshot folder, it's saved to your clipboard, so you would have to paste it after. But there's your partial screenshot right there. And then you can save this file however you like, wherever you like. So I hope that helped you out. I hope that helps you gain some functionality in Windows 10. Uh, hopefully make some, some research and projects easier. Please like and share if this did help you out. Subscribe if you enjoy these quick tutorials. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Look forward to seeing you on my next video.